Hey guys, it's you been hunted, and today I'm going to be showing you how to mod your gamer tag. And I'm starting off on the Xbox side. Uh, what you'll need for this is a USB uh, flash drive. For this, you don't need the transfer cable, and this is actually a cheaper way than buying the transfer cable from Xbox, which I think is like 15 bucks. So what you want to do first is go to System Settings and Memory. Uh, you first have to configure your USB, and it has to have at least one gigabyte um, on there. And what it'll do is just ask you to configure it. You can choose how much um, how much memory you want for Xbox. I don't think it can be configured back, but I'm not sure. I think you can delete it, but I'm not 100% sure. So um, <clears throat> it has to have more than one gigabyte on it, or at least one gigabyte. So first what you're going to do is go to wherever you save your um, profiles. I recommend putting them in the hard drive for this. And move it to your USB. So, um, yeah, now if you look into the memory unit, uh, which it just calls that, it's the USB, you'll see that it is in there. So I'll see you guys on the server side. I mean, on the uh, computer side, duh. <laughs> okay, guys, now we're on the computer side. And what I'm going to show you real fast is some of the things you'll need. Um, all these links will be in the description. First of all, you're going to need WinRAR, um, which you can get at winrar.com. This is because the files are in .raw form, which means you need this to, um, not unzip them, but like uh, extract them. Um, first one you're gonna need is the uh, the gamer tag changer thing. Uh, what's it called? Easy GT Final. And then you also need USB Explorer, which will just take you to this page, and then you click here, and it'll start the download. Now I already have these downloaded, and what you want to do is when you get into WinRAR, just um like go to WinRAR and click Extract to Desktop. And you'll get both of these. Now it won't look like this. I made this custom icon, but whatever. So um, plug in your USB into your computer that has your account on it, and you should see it should pop up in a second. Yep. It always does this for some reason. Okay. So now you open USB, the USB um, thing, and click on File and go to Open Device, and it should come up with this. What you want to do is click, and you'll see all this stuff. This is my first modded one. But you keep clicking, and you go to the end, and you take this. And what you do is you have it blue, and you click Extract, and it should extract and pick a spot. I just choose Desktop, and then save it. Now, um, if you've done this multiple times, and this will always be there, you need to completely delete this after you're done, because it won't let you put this on there twice. So you can always put it to a new spot, but I just like it on the desktop. So what you do is you go to now open Easy GT Final. Oh, you also want to keep this open, by the way. Okay. This is where we were before. Right here. Okay, so now we open Easy GT Final, and what you want to do is click on this little guy and click Open. Go to wherever you saved your account. Uh, that's your account ID, by the way, and you see it's right here. So you click on this, it'll open it, and you see we have You've Been Hunted. So we back, click this out, you can go to Add, you can add anything. Um, you still have to have the same amount of spaces, and colors take up two, um, buttons take up one. So we can make it, um, for this we'll make it, <sighs> Tutorial, no. I'll call it this modded GT and then I'll just add some buttons. I'll spell out baby or something. And then to show you the colors, I'll make this all yellow or green. And you see it gives you those two spots and it actually takes up spots. So now I have one extra spot, so I'll just put a put a right button. And you see it won't let you make any more. Okay, so once you have this, um, you click File, Save. Oh, and another thing I forgot to recommend is when you get this, um, I already have a profile backup made. What you want to do is you want to click New File, New Folder, I mean, and you want to make like a backup file. So just copy this um, because your file isn't on your Xbox anymore. So you want to make sure in case something gets screwed up, you um, can have a backup to put back on your thing. So there you go. And then that'll be in there as well. So this is the one you will use. And then you have this. And you click save. Save to text. Um, and then save to your desktop. 
So here it'll make a it'll make a folder for your um for your gamer tag and what you do is you just click on it. Um, keep clicking and you'll see it has this. So it'll be in there. Um now what you want to do is keep hitting keep hitting this the dots till you go back to the very beginning. Uh where it says content and you want to click once and this will be your main one. It shows it again at the end, but you don't want that one. You want this one where it shows this. And then don't click anything. Um, and then just take the modded folder and drag it in. And then you'll see it's right there. So we're done now. Back to the Xbox side. Okay, guys. So we've just put our, our new uh, modded gamer tag back onto our USB. So plug it back into your Xbox, and you're gonna want to go back to system settings. Uh, go to memory and go back to your USB. And you see here it says corrupted file. Um, don't be alarmed. So move your modded gamer tag to your hard drive. Um, if you see here it wants to replace it, you can only have one modded gamer tag on a device at one time. So I guess you could put one on a hard drive and one on the actual Xbox. So move that and. I was a little concerned because this never happened, but corrupted file still works. You don't have to worry about it. Um, it does work, and uh, just in case we made backup files, so it doesn't matter. Um, I did this a second time to switch back to my modded profile I wanted, and then it said you've been hunted, so it doesn't really affect it, like I said. So move both profiles, your original and your modded one, back to your hard drive. And you see they are there. And it sh even shows you've been hunted now. Okay, so how to actually turn it on? Um, we're gonna use my Warfare 2 for this. What you have to do is sign out of your account, and I'll show you why in a second. So let's start up Modern Warfare 2. Um, in the meantime, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for 3,000 subscribers. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this video out before my gameplay of my um, free for all on Salvage. If so, um, I hope you guys like that video. If not, it's going to be a good good one. So uh, at the main menu, sign in with your modded gamer tag, and you want to make sure that when it asks for the save device, you choose the uh, one that both accounts are on. It's going to take you through the main settings again. You're going to have to set them up um, how they fit you, and uh, just put everything back to how you want it. Because if you don't, you're going to have to do it later, and that's kind of annoying to have to do in game. Um, well, actually, you have to do it all in game anyway. Uh, just go through everything that you need, and here it's going to ask you for the save device. Now you have to make sure you choose hard drive, or else you're going to have to go back to dashboard and redo this all again. Okay, so your Xbox Live is going to say that your modded gamer tag account will not be able to blah, 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 not be allowed to play. So choose the account that you have it modded for, and even though you've signed in with the old one, it's going to still let you sign in and have that name. So you see here we got modded GT baby right stick. Um, it takes a little while to do this. It took a little while this time. Usually doesn't. And you see at the bottom it shows it green. It shows it kills rank green as well. And um, it shows up in the actual game as well. It just doesn't um, allow you to see the colors in on the game menu. And you're going to watch me fail here for the first little bit because I forgot you had to... Um, change the sensitivity and everything back. So I went to no scope this guy and couldn't turn in time. <laughs> uh for those of you wondering you're about to see I what settings I play on. And you see here I'm moving around pretty slow. So um when you start out you have to switch back your stuff and you see here I play on tactical and seven and I play on a widescreen HD T V so I set my stuff to the end. And on here it doesn't look like it's at the end, but it actually is. Well, it's to the end of my TV. Okay, guys. So, um, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, send me a personal message. Um, hopefully I don't get a whole bunch. But, you know, fail, no scope, but whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Right. Like it, I mean. And, uh, peace out.